I know a lot of you have been wondering about the Mara River and the history, where it goes and what it does. So it sources in a swamp whose name I cannot pronounce in the Mao Highlands. In the Mao Highlands up here, uh, they get on average 1,750 millimeters of rain a year. On average, it hasn't happened this year. It then migrates through the Mao National Forest Reserve, this Mao West and Mao East Forest Reserve. It then comes out into an agricultural land, uh, mostly small agricultural tea farms. Then it gets into the associated Maasai ranches, which is a large and small scale cattle farming, before it then enters the northern conservancies, the northern Mara, Mara bushlands, where it is cattle and tourism. It then enters into the Maasai Mara National Park or National Reserve. It then flows out into Tanzania. Now, 65% of the river is in Kenya, or the, the, the Mara River Basin is in Kenya. 35% is in Tanzania. It then flows through Tanzania and in the Serengeti National Park, an area called the Lamai Wedge. It then leaves the rest of the river in this section here is mostly small-scale agriculture, tiny little subsistence farmers. Now, just before it gets to Lake Victoria, it goes into a massive swamp um, for about 50 to 60 kilometers, a very important birding area, so lots of very interesting birds here. So it is one of the five major tributaries or major rivers that flows into Lake Victoria, which in the end become part of the Nile. You could say the Nile is even longer than it really is, but uh, there we go. It is one of the five major tributaries that flow into Lake Victoria, which is of course the source of the Nile, which is the longest river in Africa, flowing all the way down uh, to Egypt and out to sea uh, there. So there we go. Um, the Mara River is quite an interesting one. There's a, a lot of fluctuation seasonally in, in the river, and it can go from as low as it is now. This is sort of what we would normally expect it to be in August, so it is quite low, and, but it takes one big rain in the Mao Highlands for that river to come up two or three meters in a matter of hours. Of course, I have now got my, my weapon of choice for being in the studio because it's quite dangerous, and uh, you can see it's my, my size sword. And it's also, that's what I needed this morning to keep the cameraman in check, now I've got it just in case. Okay, now since we are in the Maasai Mara and it is the home of the Maasai people. During the day today, I did quite a bit more extra research on what I knew about the Maasai people. So they originate from aha, around the Nile. They're known as a Nilotic people or Nilotic Hamitic people. So they come from South Sudan um, and around the Sud and further down the Nile River. They migrated, according to oral history, it's quite difficult to say, about 2,000 years ago. Um, and they either amalgamated or completely obliterated or, and pushed people in their way. And they settled from the Ken north of Kenya um, all the way through to Dodoma in southern Tanzania. Now, oh, it's long. Can't even see. It's too big for this map. Um, so very, very interesting. And we're going to chat a little bit about Maasai culture again and history and their gods and stuff after the school drive, but Jamie's going to go welcome the school to join us. 